over. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Ah, right, come on, Hayden. This one's gonna be a fun one. Oh, check out the driveway. Got it all paved. Yeah, you know there's gonna be some rollerblade action going on there. Uh, so you guys have seen the garage, got it decked out. And something that I really love, one of my one of my favorite products from Hockey Shot is the uh, the pass rebounder. It just lets you work on your stick handling, your passing, and what I like the most is just shooting off a of pass. And this one's nice, but it's expensive. It's like 200 bucks. So I saw a video on YouTube. It's actually my uh, my sister-in-law that made it, uh, where you can basically make your own rubber because there are uh, bigger rubber passers. Could just put these everywhere, but like. For the people at home, that's like, I think 300 bucks to get that, 350 maybe. It's expensive, right? So I was trying to think of a cheaper option when I saw this video about how to make rubber basically using silicone, which you get at any hardware store, and cornstarch, boom, that's it. Mix those together and you can pretty much make your own rubber. So I had the idea, let's make our own pass rebounders. And then Hockey Shot went and uh, dropped these, which is basically, it's like a little, uh, I don't know, foam, foamy rubbery strip that you can stick to these stoppers, the stopping edges. Now the whole point of these edges are to uh, stop the puck from getting out of your area. So, you, you know, I got these cabinets here. One uh, pass goes awry. It's not gonna, not gonna lose it. It doesn't give you a nice rebound, right? But then we got the, uh, the strip right there. Boom, that's nice. Oh yeah, big snipe. So I'm thinking, do I even bother to do the uh, DIY rebounder with the rubber or just, you know, pump the hockey shop products? But I mean, these are still 10 bucks a piece, which I mean is cheaper than 200 bucks for that pass rebounder. You can get a lot more uh, balance for your buck with those. But I figured let's do a, uh, a showdown. I'm going to make my own with the, uh, the cornstarch and the silicone, test it out. I got a great idea for that. And then we're also going to see how we can use these. So, I mean, if you're already on the Hockey Shot website, you can toss a couple of those into your cart. Why not? And if you want to be handy, let's do it. So I actually just built these. Oh, I'll show you out in the yard. So threw together a couple of these uh, raised garden beds. We use five by five. I had one extra piece and I thought this would be perfect. I was actually going to do the rebounder with uh, two by fours, but this five by five, it's like, that's a heavy duty chunk. So I'm gonna turn this into a rebounder. And I think one of these is about 25 bucks. That's in Canada, you probably get it cheaper in the US. So let's go, let's have an experiment. So what I'm thinking is I'll grab the skill saw. I'm gonna cut a slot right there at the bottom and then I'll fill it with the silicone cornstarch rubber compound. Precision measuring tools here. We got about a puck height. Power tools time. Locked and loaded. Wide stance, bend those knees. This is gonna cut a little bit deeper, but I think it's gonna make kind of like a, a groove on each side. It'll probably help keep the rubber in there. I'm not a handyman. Done. And in the next video, we're gonna make our own hockey stick. Oh, yeah, look at the flex on that. Oh, man, I'm kind of interested actually. I'll do one from wood, you do one from composite. What do you think? I think that'll work, right? So that's what I'm talking about. Like it's got a little groove right there yeah. and the rubber will kind of set into it. This is an experiment, right? <laughs> I'm just testing out a theory, that's all. You should probably suck it off. Get the sawdust off. <laughs> ah, not work how I wanted it. I was talking about a shop back, okay? Always use the right tool. That's what my dad always said and I never listened, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep that onto the neighbor's lawn and we're good. Kidding, it's my lawn. <laughs> okay, so next, uh, some type of uh, mold, two by four. Measure once and cut twice. I think that's how the saying goes, right? So much better than a handsaw. <laughs> good investment. Yeah, that's gonna work. Faux show. Welcome to Handyman's Corner with Coach J. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It'll hey, oh, do, donkey. If the women don't find you handsome, at least find you handy. Remember, if women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. That is just more than adequate. I layered my cornstarch oh, yeah. to okay. make it. You can color yourself. Oh, color. Like paint or Got any red? Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. I need something to mix it with. Popsicle? Of all the, uh, Popsicle flavors, Rocket Pop is the best. 
Agree or disagree? I mean, you got three flavors there and they're all delicious. There you go. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. We are using 100% silicone. I actually got the popsicles so I could mix with the popsicle stick. But I'm thinking, why not just glob it all right on here? Just get, get your hands in there, get dirty. Try to make it red. We got some red food coloring and the idea is to make the rubber how-to hockey red. I'm gonna guess it's gonna come out more pink, but uh, uh, you'll give it a shot. Ooh, feels nice. I didn't, oh my gosh, that's like <laughs> potent gases. Oof, oh my gosh. We got a mess, maybe this wasn't as easy as I thought. Um, she did say to use baby oil on your gloves. And now I- stick. Yeah, so it doesn't stick, and I can see why. Uh, the baby oil would definitely come in handy right now. Oh, I did it. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Maybe we should just use the hockey shot things. Right, I'm, I'm gonna start jamming this in here. This video is canceled. Can you take this glove off me or something? Look at that. This is a mess. Why don't we not just fill this whole thing with the stuff, mix it right in there? Like, why am I bothering with this when I got the mold right there? I wanna put this on a hockey stick so I don't waste it. Let's try to do a custom grip. If you're gonna try this mess uh, and you use gloves, use nice thick gloves. I'm thinking it's a fun experiment. Uh, but it's going wrong. Ooh. I'm ha actually not uh, minding this. Hayden, you're gonna be jelly. You're not. Whoop! Oh, it's got some on the hat. This is actually real nice. <laughs> gonna show up for hockey with this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just like a ball hockey stick, you know, because it's got like the perfect finger grip. So this might be worth it after all. So I'm just gonna layer this cornstarch silicone, cornstarch, silicone, and then we're we'll mix it in the mold and we're done with it. So we don't have to touch this stuff because it is sticky. How many twos will it take? I'm gonna say five. Nice and even, nice and even. Do you think this is gonna work guys or? <laughs> I'm optimistic. Let's start mixing, I'm gonna Need some of that just to be safe and oh my gosh, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's definitely hard to mix. <laughs> no! It's not what I expected. But who knows? This might turn out great. <laughs> Spread that peanut butter. I've ruined my clothes, my hands are sticky, everything is sticky. I'm gonna set this to the side, clean up, and uh, then we'll play around with the hockey shot foam things, which I think <laughs> will be a more pleasurable experience than this. So we kind of gave up on uh, coloring it red. I'm just trying to do it after the fact. Maybe a little superficial uh, red on here. Oh no! I, th I thought it was more uh, set than that. I was just trying to smear it on. We're gonna let that sit and just to be safe, I'm gonna let it sit overnight because I want it to really cure so we get the best results out of it. I think that it's probably gonna work. I'm excited to see the results and uh, we gotta do a live stream. So tomorrow we're gonna come back and basically put these foam pass rebounders from Hawkshot around this entire room. I'm gonna stick them to everything. We're gonna make everything a puck rebounder. Uh, but we gotta do the live stream, so we'll see you tomorrow. Hayden, like, spin around and then it'll be like tomorrow, you know? Let's do a We're back. Do I look one day older? You can barely tell. <laughs> Let's uh, check the mold though. Moved it out of the rain. You can see I added that red coloring. It doesn't quite look red. But oh, ooh, I like, it, it, it feels bouncy. Give it a, give it a little touch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Wow. That is like it a water like, bed. Like jello. <laughs> ah. You know what? I bet that where we mix the cornstarch with it, it like oh, set. This was the end. They yeah. Just dumped the silicone. I needed extra, so I just gobbed it in right. there real quick. So there you go. There you have it. Uh, if you want it to be nice and rubbery, you're going to want to uh, mix the cornstarch. Next question is will this actually stick or will True. it just come right off? And that was just a huge waste. I mean, yeah, it's pretty stuck to it. It's a good thing we added that special oil. For how, like, kind of solid it is to this. Oh, listen to that. Okay, okay. Oh, that is Ooh. nice and smooth. My golly, I think we may have done it. This could have, this could be a success. Ooh. And now, to test it out. Boom! 
This is actually pretty oh, sweet. Yeah. That's actually nice. All right, first pass. Pretty excited, a little bit nervous. How do you guys think it's gonna work? All right, here we go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Tune into our next video to see how it worked and also we are going to cover this entire room with these new hockey shot foam rebounders and build a few more pass rebounders as well. Thanks a lot for watching this video and make sure you tune into the next one. See you guys.